must check out 100% before liftoff. There's no margin for error when a man is launched into the void of space. On May 15, 1963, the countdown proceeded faultlessly. Warmer, how do you read? Roger, Canton, how do you read? Our status is green, clear with background noise. Roger, Around the world, all tracking stations were green for go. This is Texas Capcom, read you loud and clear. Our status is green. Roger, Eglin, let me know, how do you read? Eglin, I'm now reading you loud and clear. Our status is green. Roger, test 465 is at T-minus 24 minutes and counting. MA-9, the vast and intricate edifice itself, responded perfectly to the careful scrutiny of men like those who had built it. Stand by for status, airman. Go. ECS. Go. Sequence. Go. Electrical. Go. ASCS. Go. RCS. Go. Tom. Go. TM. Go. CO. Go. Flight. Go. Tony. I'm go. CO, I have your ready light. Roger. Aramed verify. Ready light. Aramed, uh, booster interlock to go. Go. Instrumentation, communications, the spacecraft's automatic stabilization and control system, ASCS, environmental control systems, all were go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, three. Roger, and lift off and the clock is operating. That's the clock. Take my seven, base seven on the way. Standing by to start the backup clock. Roger. Three, two, one, mark. Roger, and the backup clock is running. Roger, you look good here, Dodo. Roger, feels good, buddy. Great sport. 30 seconds and fuel is go. Oxygen is go. Cabin pressure on the top peg altimeter is working. Hey, Roger, you're looking beautiful. What an afterburner. As the spacecraft reached maximum dynamic pressure, all systems were go. As it rises, the vehicle is acquired and tracked by radar. Its automatic control is switched to the ground station. In the outer atmosphere, the vehicle is tilted toward the horizontal course. The escape tower remains in position to pull the spacecraft away from the launch vehicle in an emergency. At about 2 minutes 15 seconds of flight, BECO, or booster engine cutoff, will occur. Sun is coming in the window now. Roger, we're standing by for your BECO. Roger. Animation will show events beyond camera range. Roger, BECO. The sustainer engine drives Faith 7 toward orbital speed and altitude. When the spacecraft can escape with its own posigrade rockets, the tower is jettisoned. And there goes the tower, and does she take off? At 100 miles up, and a speed of 17,544 miles per hour, SECO, sustainer engine cutoff, occurs as Faith 7 is inserted into orbit. One second later, it separates from the launch vehicle. And step camp green, SECO, I'm on off stamp. Going fly by wire. Everything is green here. Faith 7 was inserted into orbit exactly in the center of its programmed envelope. Using fly-by-wire control, astronaut Cooper then turned the spacecraft so that it traveled with the retro rockets and the heat shield facing forward. This way, the retro rockets could be fired to reduce speed and end orbital flight if necessary. The small jets of hydrogen peroxide which change the spacecraft's attitude have no major effect on the path or velocity of the orbital flight. At 14 minutes, 53 seconds, contact was made with the Canary Islands tracking station. Uh, Phase 7, Phase 7, this is Canary Cap.